everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have the next Paper Craft Society box and it is Daisy Made Designs. Just got it in the post, only opened it to look at the book and um, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this box. If you like unboxings and other arts and cooking videos, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified of new videos. And let's dive in. So you can see from the box it's going to be wintry. Uh, we've got our polar bear with a penguin and snowflakes, so that looks cute. Typical Daisy Made design. You always get this great booklet that gives you lots of ideas and um, the website to Paper Craft Society and Craft Stash has a U.S. Um, a U.S. website that uh, for just for us, which is nice, and um, I believe it's eighty dollars or more. You get free shipping. It takes a couple weeks, but um, but they've got some great products there that you can't always find here in the U.S. So, anyways, um, gonna dive in here. Quick little flick through here. Fun wintery stuff. It goes through an interview with her and what's in the box and so forth. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. You always get your envelope here that you can put on your bookshelf and tells you this is box 38 by Daisy May and of course you get the fun design and then the little extras that come in the box this will go ahead and I always reuse this tissue uh, just to waste not want not right um, so it looks like we have some papers here the general color scheme of the box we've got purples pinks greens and reds um, extra cardstock there, and we've got what well, looks like some shaker bubbles. I'm gonna take my glasses off for that one. Uh, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, maybe five ish somewhere. A great way to make shakers if you're a mutant like me and can't get it done, but um, you can use those little things there. This is very Daisy May design, this a sort of burlap woven um, ribbon, if you will, um, just to show you there. So uh, about an inch when it's all said and done with the edges, so that's cute. And then we've got maybe shaker bits. I'm just going to take... A little bit off the yes, so just some white um, shiny shaker bits there to use with your little containers. All right, all like the best. What's inside the envelope? So we have our dies, papers, and stamps. So let's take a look at the stamps at first. All right, so we've got our polar bears doing different things here. He's sledding. He He's doing what I do when I ice skate, and that is wiping out <laughs> the little fish there. That's cute. Some little filler, snow and snowflake things there. Some snowballs. That's really cute. Um, and it says snow burr winter frosties. Keep oh, so lots of just different words. You can make like a background with that. Um, things of that nature. So if you like to color, there's some fun little designs to color there. And then the dyes, I presume are going to coordinate. All right, so we have a general square there and that probably fits our um, little shaker bits there. So so you can see the lip goes beyond it, but uh, it's the same size square. Okay. As well as we have some little snowflakes, one, two, three, four, five. We have the word frosty. And then this looks like it goes with the snowballs go like this yeah so this cuts out the snowball pile so you could do multiple of those and build them up like that little foam adhesive and then these cut out the three main polar bear um, icons here so cute all right and then we have that plaid that we see on our box very Daisy May we've got our little snowball dotty print snowflake more snowflakes, but different. So these are all different. So we get those, and then it looks like maybe some watercolor paper or heavy cardstock. Actually, heavy cardstock um, to do your stamping on, and maybe some marker coloring that might go well. It's very smooth. Um, 
So very fun. All right, I'm several boxes behind with projects, but I'll have to get a move on. I've got one, two, three, four boxes I need to do some projects for. So hit that subscribe button so you're in the loop when those pop up. I also have some cooking videos in the loop here coming shortly. I made it recently a spinach. I wanted to do a bread machine pizza dough video because I make that all the time and it turns out great. And what else? Oh, so with that dough, I made a spinach dip pizza. It was so good. Oh, so I thought I'd share that and um, some other things as well. So stay in the loop, guys. Um, check out the links below. Those are affiliate links. I do make a small commission, but there's no extra charge for you. It's just you going through that link enables that. So very much appreciated for an artist to get some support. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video.